Alright guys, we're back after a little mining trip. I uh, saw me get some diamonds, got quite a bit of other ores here. Silver, tin, copper, over a stack of iron, some ferrous, uranium, uh, gems and stuff, nicolite. Uh, we're gonna make a couple machines now. I think your lottery has a nice little house built for us. It's been working pretty I hard. I do. We're gonna check that out first. And it's raining and dark. It's raining and dark. So watch I'm gonna out bring for you the... a creep. Wow, look at that. Look at you this. like it? I like it. I'm just trying to tidy up these uh, gables. Roof. Oh, gables! Look at you. Whatever, whatever you call them. What do you call these what eaves? Call them? Um, yeah, eaves. Underground, un undersided of the roofy bits. Right. I don't know. I'm not an architect, man. Yeah, me neither. That's like not my specialty. <laughs> nice. There's a little uh, little stairway here. I think this maybe is for construction. Yeah, that's going to come down. Okay. Nice. Nice little cozy place. So yeah, we're going to make in a few machines. Uh, I only have enough diamonds to make either a pulverizer or an induction smelter. Ooh, I'm going to make a diamond sword. Deep. No, you're not. Oops. Yeah, so <laughs> once we turned on the thermal expansion hard modes, we have uh, expensive recipes. So the induction smelter takes two diamonds, so does the pulverizer. I'm actually going to start with the induction smelter because it will actually be able to double your ores from it without using the pulverizer, and you'll also get some stuff called rich slag that you can turn into uh, triple ores later on. So I'm going to need a bucket for that, and a machine frame, which is iron in the corners, I believe, followed by glass on the edge. I guess it's a little hard to see because I have the recipe set in the background. Um, you can find these all in any eye yourself. That's a big deal. This guy has a redstone, two gold. Nope. Two redstone, one gold. I want to cancel that out. It's really annoying. Redstone. I'm going to turn off particles to uh, quiet down the rain. Yeah, to get I have my sound turned almost all the way down. So then I think we do this, and check the recipe again. Yep, just like that. If I can find where particles goes, details maybe. Nope. I... I didn't bring sand. I'm a terrible person. I'll get some sand. We still haven't moved up uh, stuff out of our mine yet, as we don't have any chests or anything in the house. But that'll come next, probably. And I believe we're going to look into setting up some... arms. Livestock. Yeah, we gotta get a yeah. food supply going. And Definitely. Work chops left. So yeah, I can do a little bit of above ground work. Ah, uh, there's a creeper mail. Creeper man. Where? Oh, you got it? Right there. Yeah. <laughs> I came up and he was sizzling right next to the house. Nice. So I guess we're gonna need some more torches. Uh, I got 39 on me. Do you want to light yeah. up the outside? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'll probably need them right. outside. I'll go do that while you're setting up the... Uh... Okay. Uh, I figure we can take... Um... Um... Should we should we make an entrance to our mine from inside, and that way we don't have to go outside anymore? Um, yes, that we could do. I'm thinking we can put uh, chests up, up high here, like... Uh, too high to place. Like this? For, for out of the way storage. Yeah. But it opens, yeah, because you got stairs. Yeah, because this so, roof is all yeah, stairs. It looks like it's a solid block with a stair, so you can still put your chest up there. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Enderman's teleporting around. Alright, so I got my induction smelter, and I want to make um, a couple of engines to power it. Maybe just one to start with. And the engine I'm going to make is called a hobbyist steam engine. That's from Elcraft. It's. So many more planks. It is really efficient. It takes some uh, work to get warmed up. You need to put a couple pieces of fuel in to get it warmed up. But once you have it going, it's the most efficient engine for your fuel, and it produces buildcraft power. Right. I did a, a little test in um, wasn't in the Minecraft version, so it might might be slightly different. But I had uh, a stack of ten coal produced like three hundred thousand Minecraft jewels. Yeah. It's like That's ridiculously efficient. Yeah. That's, yeah, really good. One piece of coal will normally make, what, 1600 in a uh, serling engine? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Not working. Oh, I'm going 
getting mixed on I was gears. getting, um, oh, creeper! Oh, there's well, another one coming too. Mark. Oh, go outside and put torches up your lottery. Go on. Don't worry about the well, creepers. Well, you know, if you didn't run into the creeper, man... Hey, then, he, uh, he ran into me. Sure. Blame it on the creeper. He just wanted a hug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What our viewers did not see while we were not recording is the five creepers that... Okay, well, not five, but the Look multitude. At, at least two creepers that truculent set off. Do you have any dirt? I... I don't. It's some down in the chest downstairs, though, in the, in the mine have, shaft. Might have enough here. Probably not, though. Do you have any derp? Okay, so I got my two engines. The other engine. The other thing I'll make is aqueous. I can't not spell it. Aqueous accumulator. Right. It makes uh, water for you. These steam engines take water. So. A couple more of these ciders, and I'll be making water myself. Yeah, yeah, TMI, buddy. <laughs> I think I think he's a little drunk. What? Yeah, machine frames. We need a machine frame. Got enough gold just for that. I find that gold is really the limiting factor early on. Right? You just don't find very much of it, and to build these, if you're going well, if you're going this route with a thermal expansion, uh, gold seems to be the limiting factor. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can make buckets out of ten. Nope. We can thank Greg Tech for that. We need a bucket for this guy. We need a servo, which is this guy, this, that. All right. Like Tom servo. Yes, exactly. And then let's see. Supposed to be a way to. Okay, I can't figure it out. There's supposed to be some way when you click the little question mark to show the recipe, it'll automatically fill the uh, the crafting grid for you if you have the stuff. Hmm. But I don't remember how to do it. Let's see if I can figure it out. So, induction smelter, aqueous accumulator, and yeah, two... just you you hit the recipe from any eye, then you hit the question mark that shows up, and it gives you the. Uh the recipe on your crafting table. But I'm saying there's a way to make it automatically populate oh. if you put stuff in. I thought it was control click. No. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to check the settings. So, uh, we're going to put this think here. Okay. I'm just going to make a really basic setup. I'll put my this accumulator hmm. Yeah, so I can't. Well, it'll be okay. Put it okay, there. If you go into your NEI settings. Yeah. Wait, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, red shaft. So what? What is it that we want to do? We want to start putting. So a... yeah, it'll. It, there's some way to automatically fill the uh, the grid. But How does have, it know like, what recipe you're using? Whatever you click on with the question mark. There's like if you just left oh, click it. Right. Yeah. But it just brings up the recipe, and you hit the question mark, and it gives you your crafting grid. But if you're not at a crafting table... See, I'm not quite sure what the difference is that you're describing. Okay, so let's say I want to make a wrench. Right. Okay, and I have the stone gear, and I have the iron to make it. When I look at the recipe, if I just hit, the, just left-click on the question mark, it'll populate the crafting grid with the pattern. If I, I thought it was right-click, shift-right-click... If left click. There we go. I did it. So I just locked something up. Oh, that was weird. I tried to right click and it. Okay. So, so shift I hover left over the click. wrench. Press. Yep. Press oh. R, and then you shift left click on the question mark, and that puts the stuff in the grid for you automatically. Assuming you have the stuff. Right. Wrench. Oh, that's cool. That's good to know. That is the wrong wrench. I need a crescent hammer, which I can't make. 
But that's okay. I think in this wrench, anyways. Turn around the engines. Yep. So put the engine here. Oh, it worked automatically. They should get filled up with water slowly. Probably. The accumulator is very slow if you don't have two source blocks next to it. Hmm. I see that really slow. Hmm. Yeah, it's like one milli barrel every like couple seconds. So you're gonna need to put um, source blocks next to it. Okay. I break this on my pick. Yep. The crescent wrench is much faster, of course. Um. Okay. I think for now we're just going to use one engine. Yep. Picking up your ground here. Uh, I actually brought some marble. I thought we could use it for the floor. Yeah, that was actually my idea, but. Way to take credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he asked for marble to make bricks for the floor. I, I forgot to give it to him, though. I think that's what he's been waiting on. So, hmm, I'm going to make another bucket, because I need to buy buckets to craft those with. I'm going to get some water. Okay. Oh, so I'll um, make a little spot for Eternal Spring in here, too, if you want to bring okay. two buckets of water. Well, I'll get one at a time, but yeah, well, I will definitely get two buckets of water. Could you and your frugal use of iron? It's, um, you know, rare, man. I only have a stack and something of iron. Where are you going to put the accumulator? Right. Right there. underneath the... Yeah. Okay, well... And I'll... And I'll put the other block underneath the um, smelter, okay? Uh, all right. Here, put it down. Put your water down. I don't have oh, it Oh, you yet. don't have it. Oh, yeah, we need the spring. I'll be sure to get my water from out in the middle of the ocean so it leaves currents, you know, just for you. <laughs> Thank you. I love hey. uh, attractive currents in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, so here's a tip. Um, people don't know, but the IC2 rubber trees, you can get the resin and you can make torches out of it. So I don't have my tree tap with me, but you can take the resin and make a torch just like charcoal with a stick. I believe that's actually a hidden recipe. It won't show up unless you are... Unless you enable it in your settings. I need a lever to turn the engine on. Obviously, the engine does need red power signal. And yeah, we're going to put some charcoal in it. Did you get your other bucket? I did, but I don't I don't have a spring for thing yet. I don't know where you want the spring. Um, I made this little corner area for it. OK, I'll fill it up. OK. You can do the do the floor. Just don't take that water source away from underneath the sculpture. Okay. Yeah, I should probably make an extra bucket. It'll be useful in the long term. You can make an extra one, and then when you're done with it, you could give it to me because I don't have one yet. Yep. We could also smelt it in the alloy furnace. That will be uh, you know, get back our iron. True. Bring bucket. So this guy should slowly fill it with power. Until this guy gets heated up, he doesn't make a lot of energy. He will max out at 1.8 and make a mega joules. Or what we, Michael Jordans? Is that what we call them? 1.6, I think. Michael Jordans. Michael 1. Jacksons. 1.6 Michael Jacksons. Minecraft joules. It's the Minecraft energy. And then we'll bring our ores up with uh, sand. You need to use sand with the induction smelter. So yours and then right yeah, sand really. or rich slag or rich slag yeah so rich slag you can use with pulverized dust to get three ingots out of two uh, dust but as we don't have a pulverizer yet then not a lot we can do yeah so this is just a temporary setup we'll, we'll come up with something better once we get some more engines and liquid ducts and conduits and things but that's that's a little bit yet a little bit off do know. Yep. 
So, we'll probably cut the video here while we're waiting on this engine to power up. Good idea. And I'm just going to tidy up the floor and uh, make some more chests. Okay, and I'll also start on our farm and some livestock pens. I have some more wood for that. So. Good idea. Yep. We'll get some work done right. and we'll be back, guys. See you guys soon. Hey guys, look, we found some diamonds. Go ahead, mine Ooh, that. Watch for the lava. Things. Mine underneath first. Yeah. Yeah, so we're thinking that actually Did we're I... going to take these diamonds and use a twilight forest portal. Yeah. Did I miss that diamond earlier? Nope, it was behind a block. Okay. Ta -da! Just two? Yep. All right. I guess yep. that'll do. I guess that'll do. Some redstone. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to make a twilight forest portal at some point and get... go... Let's get that redstone. Yeah, I was gonna let you dig it. I'm at level 29. I didn't. Me wanna... too. Oh well. Yeah. So we need we need enough diamonds to make a twilight force portal, which is only one, and we need to make an enchanting table soon. Which is another uh, two, um, three, two for the enchanting table, but we need uh, to get the obsidian for it, so we can use a block breaker for that. Yep. I'm gonna dig this iron. So why don't we do the um. Enchanting table first, so we can yep. get some gear. So, Where's the exit? 30? I don't know. I was actually lost when I found those diamonds. Oh, awesome. So Microphone muted. <coughs> Microphone activated. Nope. I just made like a huge cough after muting my TeamSpeak mic, but it occurs to me that my fraps will be all over that cough. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. I thought it was oh, no. over here. I didn't set a waypoint. That was bad. I have one. Wait. Yeah, I'm not anywhere near where I thought it was. Okay. It's it's under the house, so we just have to go to the, where the house was. Yeah. Which is this way. And over on that side of the... Wow, almost fell in. This is our hot tub. Our hot tub yep. time machine. Hot tub time Shout machine out to B double O. Lava. <laughs> Do you prefer lava or lava? Um, I'm Canadian, so I prefer lava. Lava. And technically, that's magma. Hmm. Okay. Magma. But when you pick it up, it becomes a bucket of lava. Um, I think it's actually a bucket of magma until you get it to the surface, and then it becomes a bucket of lava. Hmm. Because okay. if it's under, if it's subterranean, it's it's magma. Okay. Right? Okay. So it's just Minecraft misnames it. Okay. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna... Oh, I've got all this junk in my inventory. Where did it come from? There's my... I need, like, Whoa. a sort to chest button. Yeah, so we got these chests up here in the ceiling. A uh, little unorthodox storage method, probably. We got a few signs, which are hard to see, because they're really up high. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah, this, this, this house is temporary. It's... Yeah. But the idea with the the chests on the ceiling was when you eventually move to the the iron chest mod chests, which are like one by one, so they can be put right next to each other. You could yep. like cover the entire ceiling with chests, yes. and then you don't have to worry about your floor space being taken up with them. Yep. Yep. So I think actually this is my episode two because I had the footage of my last. Uh, yeah, mine too. Run. Yeah, so welcome to episode two of Succulent and Your Lottery. Let's play Feed, Feed the Beast, Beast Minecraft. Minecraft. Mod. Minecraft. Oh, what's this about? <laughs> Did you add these signs? Look uh, at you, you no. little dickens. That's your um that's your safety box for when you wake up screaming at night. You need some you need some curtains around yours too so that I can't see you when you're okay. masturbating. Wait, I don't do I'm going to cut that out of mine. There you okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. Where, where is that? Yeah, I'm going to stop recording, actually. Um, okay. Hey, guys. Uh, Truculent and I are just getting ready to uh, do some enchanting, but we need obsidian. And we don't have a lot of diamonds, so instead of making a diamond pick and chipping away at this obsidian for, you know, hours, um, I made a block breaker from Red Power. I'm going to put a lever on top of it, and I'm going to use a screwdriver to make it face the obsidian. And I'm just going to 
flick the lever and poof the obsidian shoots out there we go a couple pieces of obsidian easy as pie hey guys we're uh, doing a little little building it looks like yeah a little renovation here we needed an enchanting room so we've uh, expanded our house and uh, truculent's gonna bring me some stone some slabs. flooring. Yep, got it. Thirty. And where did you want the ladder up? On right the stone up, column. right up on this stone column here. Okay. I'm scared of heights. Uh, well, you can you can give me the slabs and go back down if you want. I'm just kidding. Um, how's what's the bookshelf situation looking like? Uh, I was about to go check our cows again. I think we have enough to make seven start with and then um yeah we need more leather we're pretty close on enough sugarcane dark yeah okay yeah. um i couldn't i couldn't decide what to do with the door here so i just i made we have a door but we also have a, a just a walk a breezeway kind of a thing what happened there um i don't know wasn't there planks there there was like a... yeah it well the wall looks want... a little too planky like oh okay solid uh, plank oh also. you know what uh, i'm the decorating expert so i'll take care of that when i'm done up here and if you okay. unless you have a, a plan for it we could take get rid of that door and just put an arch or something in there mm. this there. um this floor is going to have um bookshelves okay but Pretty i think dark. we should have windows yep. too put a temporary uh some temporary torches up a little window over the door was my idea, and I think that's a very nice touch. That looks really good. Yeah, we, my guys, my viewers can't see it. <laughs> well, go go check out my my YouTube Two, channel. It's three. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> be sure to subscribe and rate if you like us. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Right, that's so... Truculent MC and your lottery. <laughs> uh, yeah, I. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've got I have a hard time selling myself. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go do the cows. Okay, I think. I mean, not not literally, but. <laughs> I think we're gonna have enough room for uh, the bookshelves and windows up here because we only need 15 bookshelves now, right? Uh, yes, 15. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Yeah, so we don't even need these ones here, or we get to put a bigger window, facing one of okay. these directions. Yeah. Cool. So um. Yeah, let's put a big southern facing window in this room. Okay. Can you do a, a widow's walk on the top with a little uh, parapet? Um, do you really want that? I was just going to do like a pointy roof. <laughs> no, I wanted to impress you with my vocabulary. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. We got about 10 adult cows now. Almost that many. Smaller cows. Um, what do you call, okay, call we cows? need we need we have twenty one books and we need twenty four more, so we need twenty four leather. I don't think we should start killing the cows quite yet. Nope, we're gonna need more wheat because I made sheep with it instead of cows. <sighs> okay, um, we do have a wheat farm growing, don't we? Yep, I'm gonna pick watch out right for now. that zombie. I, I, he's cool, man. He's my friend. Why he's are you hitting him? Zombies, what? What? I got a sword. I would beat him up with a corn cob. Corn. Come get you some. <laughs> this is a, this is awesome video. What were you trying to do with that corn cob? Exactly. Uh, kill it, murder a zombie. <laughs> hey, look! When the zombie apocalypse comes. I yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. Can't do the creeper in the farm. Yeah, when the zombie apocalypse comes and all you got is a corn cob, everything looks like a zombie. Words of advice. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just oh, whoa. Jesus. Watch out oh, for that creeper. Oh, There's another man. one. There's another one. I see him. Alright, we're gonna take matters into our own hands here. Okay, I've got the zoom in view. Okay. This is how you take care of creepers, man. One, two. One, two, done. See? Nice, nice job. 
what good job you? here with this hole Man, too. There's carrots down here and stuff. Yep. All right. Well, we're gonna fix this mess, and we'll be back. In a yeah, few. we'll be back. Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome back. We got uh, a couple of new floors built into our house here, and then by we, I mean your lottery did all the work. That's me. Looking, looking pretty nice, buddy. We're gonna have a nice uh, enchanting room up here. Put our oops, 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 oops. <laughs> sorry about that. We're gonna put our enchanting table here in the middle with some bookcases around. Still working on the cow okay. situation. Yeah, we still need like half the books, we or more than half the books for our 15 bookshelves. We've got roof access here. Um, there are a couple corner points that I want to fix up with micro blocks, but I didn't want to make a saw yet. And I, I'll probably put a flag on the top. Oh, nice. Good idea. But it's functional for now. Yep. I'm gonna sunbathe up here in the summertime. Can you look from the outside here? Just watch out for creepers. Right. So yeah, the we house had... is looking pretty good. Yeah. Not, not a bad temporary shelter. Temporary you can see up, up here where it looks a bit derpy because uh, I didn't have the... uh, yeah. didn't have a micro block. All right though. But I'll fix that up. Yeah. In looking the future. Pretty nice. Let's go check on our cows. See how many okay. we got. Got some corn growing. Hey, it's, some uh, of this wall looks a lot newer. Yeah, it's been blown up on either side by creepers now. The score is um, two creeper, zero us, I think. Hmm. Let's see, head count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, twelve, fifteen, fifteen adult cows or so. That's probably that not going to be enough. We need that makes um, five books. Yeah. What's the chances of leather dropping? Hmm. I don't know. We need um, 24 leather to make eight more bookshelves. And then we'll need another book for the enchanting table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should do one more uh, batch. And I'm also out of wheat. Oh, out that's wheat. not good. So we're going to have to... I might take out the carrots or something temporarily and because we can replant them and do mm. this wheat. This corn seems to take up a lot of space too. Yeah. Yep. So probably let this mature all the way, take it all out, and use uh, wheat for a couple of cycles. Wish we had golems or some automation, but that's okay. All in good time. Yep. Eventually we'll have it all. Um, I'm going to make a uh, obsidian pressure plate for the outside of this. Yeah. Yeah, because we have just a stone pressure plate here, which is set off by players and mobs. We can't use one outside, but there's an obsidian plate that is only activated by players. So there we go. Put that down outside. No more opening doors and... like a peon. Yep, you can now walk inside of your house. I'm going to cool a little grass up just to be a little nicer. We should put a little deck out there. Beautiful. What do you think about this inside door? Um, I don't know. I, I think it's that... okay. Yeah, it seems all right. It's all right. Um... It's a nice airlock in case uh, you know you're kiting a creeper in or something. Then I can. Wow, the inside door. of your head looked freaky. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, we need something on this wall, but maybe we could put like a like a big map painting. or something a or painting. A painting. Yeah, or a big map. Yeah. yeah, item frame or something with a call yeah. of our enemies. And I don't know what this room. I guess it's just a mud room. Yeah. All right. So uh, next up is uh, waiting for the the leather so we can. Use our level 30 enchants yeah, before we die. I'm, I'm 32, so I'm probably going to make some armor also and enchant that. And then we're going to head off to the Twilight Forest. Right. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Yep. Now. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. First level 30 enchant. I'm actually going to do a book because I don't have diamond tools yet. So I'm just going to put it on a book for now. And what did I get? Power four. Nice. So that's, that's pretty good for a bow, a, right? It goes on a bow, right? Yeah, it goes on a bow. Well, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a book. And okay. what do I get? Flame one. I guess I'm the big loser. Wow. Have a care, buddy. Thanks. You got flame one. Flame on. And now I'll just take the rest of my levels. I have three. I'm going to enchant this level level one uh, boots. But we got to block the bookcases off. So 